This happens once every four years. A conference center becomes filled with the world's top aerosol scientists. Many times a lay person might just attribute things come out of a spray can as an aerosol. Any area which deals with small particles that are suspended in a fluid with applications in of course, environmental issues, air quality related matters, as an enabler in energy technologies, in advanced materials, in agriculture, in medicine. Paving the way for the International Aerosol Conference. It's the 10th one in its history, and for the first time, it's held in St. Louis. The mayor of St. Louis has shown special interest she has proclaimed the Aerosol Science and Engineering Week in St. Louis. Pratim Biswas is Assistant Vice Chancellor and Department Chair for the School of Engineering and Applied Science at Washington University in St. Louis. He's also President of the International Aerosol Research Assembly and Conference Chair. That comes with a huge responsibility hosting an estimated 1,500 people from all over the world coming to St. Louis. The world's leading aerosol scientists, many of them making presentations of the latest findings. So for example, using aerosol methods for treatment of cancer. And here, Biswas accepts a prestigious award for his contributions. It's a once in a lifetime achievement. With St. Louis's history, Biswa says there's much St. Louis has to offer the world. On this floor, several aerosol researchers at Washington University, and we are a world's leading group in this field of research. Those attending the conference get the full tour. It allows us to showcase our state-of-the-art laboratories with a lot of PhD students working here. So that's a way of making that wow factor becomes obvious when you come in person. St. Louis also has an incredible history overcoming air pollution, gaining special interest from China and India. Bizwaz explains how Beijing and New Delhi struggle with issues St. Louis faced 60 years ago. So St. Louis now historically has had very strong aerosol research efforts dating back to a need-driven issue, we had severe air quality issues. Coal was used to heat homes, individual homes. As a result, there was a lot of fine particle pollutants, aerosols created, which was really darkening the entire St. Louis atmosphere. It was rather a grim situation and people were having health issues by breathing these particles in. It took a Washington University professor uh, Professor Tucker to really step up. He took upon himself and became the mayor of the city and then passed regulations to really control it and he solved the problem. Having the history that once started on this campus and the know-how, Biswas is collaborating with scientists in China and India. We through our colleagues here at Washington University are working with colleagues through the McDonnell Academy uh, trying to really solve these problems. Which had the attention of a captivated audience from all corners of the globe. For HEC, I'm Kathleen Berger.